here today. Tell me what law I have broken. You cannot tell me any law that I've broken. Sir, listen to me. You have all just invaded my space. You are breaching your own stupid regulations. What is the point of this? Peace, peaceful protest. There is no reason behind this at all. All praises to the Most High Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, welcome. This is your humble servant, Big Levi, and today is uh, Monday, November the 30th, 2020, and it's currently 10.55 a.m. Brothers and sisters, what you're just seeing here, what you're looking at here, it's called Esau's trouble. It's called the Gentiles' tribulation. You're about to notice how those people are going through the uh, tribulation that they and they cannot handle it. And uh, just to bring that out, they are now they are now start seeing that this isn't no joke anymore. Okay, they are now they are now seeing that. The government has nothing to do with this. Uh, they are now seeing the elite are not doing this because they thought if, quote unquote, the elite were doing this, they could just break to white Jesus and then things would have gone back to normal. And uh, it's not. Okay, you have to let those people know that you are going to the curses. You just uh, enjoy your four or five hundred years of that blessing. Now, this is the curses, Okay. For those of you that just um, drain also, this is your first time being on my channel. Welcome. Uh, this is an honor for me to have you here. And it's uh, pretty heartwarming to see more people uh, rejecting Jacob's trouble and embracing Esau's trouble with full heart. And uh, my mission, I am nothing but a dog that the most I sent to bark out his sheep. I am a German shepherd and uh, I'm no priest. I'm none of that. I'm not smart. I don't know anything. Everything that you see me doing is of the most high. My mission is to telling you be at peace. There will be no Jacob's trouble. Father has restored the covenant with you. He told you be, as, be at peace and draw the, uh, the spiritual hospital that he sent the angel Raphael to heal you spiritually, physically, you know, mentally and all side. So be at peace, brothers and sisters. Rejoice, fear Father, worship Him, give Him all credits and all praise. All praises. Over here, we don't give credit to any man. Ah, <coughs> uh, excuse me. I'm trying to um. Uh, yes, I don't edit my videos. I'm trying to hydrate the body, you know. I just get off a fast, so. <laughs> You know, it's it's it's, cre it's pretty <clears throat> it's pretty draining. You have to drink a lot of water. Now, Father say, come to me with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Okay, you have to fast and things like that. We fast every Thursday here. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for being with us. We are very honored, and uh, we are going to uh, Esau's trouble and the Gentiles' tribulation, and we're going to see how those people are handling this. All right, let's uh, finish this video. You see, those people they can't handle. They can handle none of this. So they are now comparing. This what, technically what this guy are saying. Like this never happened to us. Why are you guys are doing this to me? It's not them doing that to you. It's the Most High our Father. You going to your curses right now, okay? You're going through the curses. So that's why this is happening, brothers and sisters. You need to watch this. You need to understand. You need to tell those people to their faces that they are going to Esau's trouble. And this is the curses. And they're going to go to a hell of a lot more worse. You have to tell them. Don't let them come on at you and say, oh, oh man, this is 2020. So, no, no, no. That's not what it is. Uh, actually, what you are calling 2020, it's called Esau's trouble. It's called the Gentiles' tribulation. Okay? And you weren't ready, you're not going to get ready. So you're going to go to this curse. All right? Let's uh, move on to the next uh, video. Okay? A small minority of Canadians don't believe the rules apply to them, and others are just tired of living by them. 
Mike Jolay has more on the frustrations building as the pandemic drags on. It's hard to compete with the gusty winds of a snowstorm in rural Manitoba. Harder still with RCMP officers blocking the highway. Let the people go to church! You see, then again, uh, the beloved brother Big Judah just uploaded a video. Man, did he went to it. <laughs> the, bro <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> the brother lets you know straight up, man, your freaking white Jesus ain't shit. You know, for the holier than thou people out there. Oh my God, I can't believe. I'm so disappointed in Brother Big Judah. Yes, as if he was doing this for you. Your, your, your white Jesus, your churches, your religion, all your bull, they ain't shit. That's it. You done. This is Esau's trouble, and you're gonna go through it. Let the people go to church. What? You you think that the, you think your government is doing this? No. This is called Esau's trouble. And you're going to go through it, whether you want it or not. All right. The standoff between religious rights and public health ended with the minister delivering his sermon on the back of a pickup truck. So there's no government there that can prohibit us from worshiping God. With the highest per capita COVID-19 rates in the country, the Manitoba government ordered, among other restrictions, that religious services go virtual a similar order to one in BC that has resulted in church leaders being fined. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, chosen and grafted. If this thing was fake, if this thing was, it wasn't real at all in any shape or form, do you really believe those people would have panic over this? Do you really believe they would have restrict their own people for not worshiping their own God? This is the main forces right there. The, those demons, those demonic uh, 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 worshipping, those go, those whole house that is lay on the ley line. Do you really believe if this thing was fake? Is they, is they are trying to uh, um, stage some type of uh, vaccine? We will go into that vaccine. Because that's what they want. They want this vaccine. They want to be not things to come back to normal. And it's not going to happen, brothers and sisters. Things are never, ever going back to normal. They are now... Are, are witnessing they are now uh, realizing that yo there is there must have been something greater than this because we've been praying for a while now usually white jesus listen instantly when we pray to white jesus say white jesus i want to see a black man getting killed and then and, and go to prison and i want more money and instantly it happened you people enjoy this blessing now this is the curse you're going to go through it whether you want it or not Nationally, Canada's health relative to COVID-19 has never been worse. The number of active cases in the country has doubled in the last month. And with that has come a slew of regionally unique public policies that have left many people confused and confounded. This is really where the rubber hits the road in terms of the tension between individuals and the public's interests. And, and I think um, it's a very challenging uh, area in any democracy. The rain kept protesters away from this Toronto area barbecue restaurant today, but it's been at the epicenter of a boisterous debate over how public policy is meted out. While businesses in two GTA regions aren't allowed to have customers enter their stores due to a lockdown, just a few streets over, a mall is thriving with massive lineups. How are Canadians dealing with all of it? Professor of Psychiatry Roger McIntyre says it's the unpredictable element of chronic stress that worries him the most. We've got pervasive mistrust in almost every sector and every structure of our society. What does this do? It really coarsens us. And it coarsens us in the sense that we, in fact, are acting out. We're getting angry. And you're seeing some of this being acted out. The oh, you don't see it. <clears throat> you don't see it. Those people don't know how to handle. They don't know how to cope with things like that. They get angry. They want to fight. They want to yell. They want to do all that type of thing. All right, let's uh, go to the next videos. Okay, hopefully I don't get strike for this. I'm pretty sure. They're going to get me for that. This is the, uh, let me mute this. This is the pursuit of Mahan, right? 
Holy Mass with Pope Francis on the first Sunday of Advent, 29th November 2020. So this is the priesthood of Mahan. Those guys are done. All you see is a bunch of old men, done old men, with a bunch of uh, clothes in there and a whole house. Build on the ley line. Okay? Uh, those guys are done. There's nothing they can do anymore. They know this thing is uh, like out of the way. Now, they have like, he, he just, uh, he just, um, he just named for 13 new cardinal. So I'm like that. You know, this is the mark of the beast, Mary and baby Jesus. You guys are done. And a couple Negroes in there, a couple people that look like us. And I strongly believe they are not our people. They just look like us. Okay, you guys are done. This place used to be like full loaded with people. Now they took the, the benches out. They just put single chairs. Okay. All the statues and all this nonsense. Uh, it's, it's all done. It's all done. You guys are done. You pray to a white Jesus. You pray, you pray, you pray. Nothing happened. And it's not going to happen. Okay. It's not going to happen. It is done. Pope, old man Francis. Oh, I need one of those uh, incense burner though. To, you know to burn things inside of my house you know yeah it is done you, you can see those guys you see a bunch of old men and then they are trying to do this nonsense and it's not working it's not working your 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 jesus is not is not answering to to you anymore okay so another monolith another uh, uh metal menhir up in uh up here over there and uh um, uh, uh, what is this place name again? Uh, Romania. Then this one, okay, this one look, look uh, welded, okay. This one look welded, but nonetheless, <laughs> it's another one. It's another uh, 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 menhir, okay. It's similar, most likely be, I don't know. Whatever, wh whoever made this, it's because the most I want you to see it. Okay, the most I want you to know that uh, those things are there. They are signaling those people, letting you know, hey man, judgment time is here. Good evening, and I hope you had a happy and safe Thanksgiving. I know for so many of you, it was a much different Thanksgiving this year. We're all getting through this together. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this thing sometimes does that. For those of you brothers and sisters who don't know this, there are certain people I can't pass. Like this dude. I always have a problem with that guy. You know, I always like when he coming in and then uh, he uh, uh, get things done, but I have a problem with him. It's like this guy did this on purpose. It's like he did it on, on purpose. He just went to the doctor and said, Doc, what is the biggest nose you can give me? I want that thing to be so distracted. I want it when I'm talking so people will focus not on the nose, but on my nose. Just give me the biggest you can get me. And the doc like, yo, man, I do nose reduction here. I don't do this. I don't care, doc. Just give me the biggest one. It's just, it's so, ob it's so obvious. Like this guy, he did this on purpose. And every time he's talking, he always put his nose right in the camera. Like, hey, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. I'm like, yo, man, whatever, man. I, I can't pass this dude. But anyway, let's get into this. There is some encouraging news tonight on the vaccine front. ABC News has now confirmed the first batch of Pfizer vaccine has now made it to the U.S. It's being stored in Michigan. Of course, they're waiting for approval. The second vaccine maker, Moderna, saying they are now asking for emergency approval, too. And they had some impressive numbers today, saying their vaccine is 94% effective. But they also said something else, that their vaccine in their trials was 100% effective against severe cases of the virus, meaning they saw no severe cases. This is all lies. And this is, a, first of all, this is not a mark, a mark of the beast at all. This is all lies. This is like, this is those people trying to force things to get back to normal, okay? Not only they're going to do this for the money, it's all lies. And then again, uh, those people are coming with backward uh, um, prophecy saying, oh, oh, the mark of the beast is the vaccine. If it was, they would have tell you, listen, uh, this is the Antichrist and you need to take this to do that. that. They didn't say anything about this. You know why? Because they can't. They took the oath. The oath said, don't say hey about anybody. Don't say hey about our plan. Lie, lie, and lie again. Okay, this is not the bark of the beast, all right? 
And of course, this comes amid the reality tonight that the numbers are rising quickly. More than 13 and a half million cases in this country, more than 4 million new cases this month alone. That accounts for nearly one third of all cases since this pandemic began. You don't see. You don't see. And, and our people out there are repeating the same thing. It, it, it's, a, it, it's a scandemic, like it's a pandemic. They're playing this, man. They're playing this. Get the hell out of here, man. The supreme being, the most High himself, our father, he planned this. He did this. More than 260. Look, okay, look, that thing went from March to November. It spiked. Where the hell is the second wave? How is this? Wh wh where did that thing went down for like at least a year and then come back again? This is the first. Th then again, when it comes to this coronavirus, there will be no second wave, man. There will be no second wave. One wave, that's it. Are you serious, man? This is the number of death, man. 267,792 people died. And you come back and say, it's fake, bro. It's, it's like a flu. Nothing like a flu. Is, is that what that is? Okay, it's, that's why a lot of you out, now, out there right now catching hell on this thing. Okay, certain of those guys, they, they were dying. Uh, uh, somebody sent me a, 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 a message about one of the Hebrew, uh, one of the prominent Hebrew Israelite men in certain camp were like talking junk. He died of the coronavirus. He died of it because he was like, he was being too proud and pompous out there. He died of it. Keep taking credit from the father and put it on, on Bill Gates. Keep doing that. Okay. All right, we told you this is the father's work. We told you the covenant has been restored. This is Esau's trouble. Let those people go through their trouble. Stay out of it. 67,000 American lives lost. And tonight with these new numbers, New York's governor now urging hospitals to prepare retired doctors and nurses to come back to work. And that he's also not ruling out some sort of a pause with the numbers rising so quickly. You think if that thing was fake, they would have uh, asked the, the people that retired? To come back to work and die you think this is a joke fool is, is is that what that is you think you think this is stage you think this is a scandemic you think this is plain you you think those people like doing this you think those people like to mess with their own blessing that is because they're going through a curse right now let them know this all right let them know let's let's take off the the next video oh boy i don't think that thing record at all let me see Oh, it is. That is good. <laughs> that is good. Oh, boy. I would have been so pissed off. Update on the story you saw first on 10. Part of a church in Sunrise deliberately set on fire. Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay is live now to tell us who is behind this unholy act. Terrell. And Calvin, it's still unclear tonight why that suspect targeted this particular church. We do know that he was not a familiar face to the parishioners and a staff here, but a detective assigned to the case recognized him apparently right away. The crime was caught on video. A shirtless man seen smashing a statue of Jesus and moments later using an accelerant to light the church garden on fire. Twice, in fact, causing thousands of dollars in damage. Even though the damage was done and we are heartbroken for the damage, but he's more important than, than the material things. He's a uh, uh, a son of God, and he is a brother in Christ. Now that's the pastor of St. Bernard Catholic Church in Sunrise reacting today to the news of an arrest in that crime that happened nine days ago. Police believe the man on video is 33-year-old Ryan Charlton, who had just been released from jail a few days prior, accused of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I... May God bless the brother. He did a holy act right there. He break the hand of white Jesus. He break his hand. <laughs> this is how the Holy Spirit works, brothers and sisters. Let's watch it. This is beautiful. He was not a familiar face to the Look. parishioners and a staff here, but a detective assigned to the this case dude. recognized him apparently right away. The crime was caught right. on video. A shirtless man seen smashing Bang. a statue of Jesus. And, and then he later, set it on fire. An accelerant to light the church garden on fire. <laughs> Twice, in fact. All praises, brothers. It's just all crazy. He Even broke his hand. Done... You powerless now. Huh. Brothers, if this is the most, I don't know what that is. It broke your hand. The brother broke both of your hand. You useless. 
Those hands you used to use to perform your, your witchcraft and miracles. And he broke it. White Jesus painted in white. He broke the hand and he set it on fire. Put some debarrel on your ass. That's what it is, baby. The brother broke both of his hands. That's symbolic right now that your white Jesus is powerless. There's nothing you can do. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! That happened in Sunrise. Sunrise is like right next to me. I used to walk in Sunrise. I used to stay in Sunrise. <laughs> this is beautiful, man. Let's move to the next video. Okay, this is in, in Indonesia, I believe. Yeah. Uh, a volcano uh, uh, eruption. Thousand people flee. Okay. Thousands of people flee. Let me see if I can put this thing down. Those people are really loud in this thing. So, this is very unfortunate, man. Uh, but, hey, it has to happen. You know, the Mosa is angry. It's all over, okay, brothers and sisters? It's all over. Don't let people telling you what's happening. It's all over. Let's move to the next video. Oops. By government and other public bodies that the pandemic has hit vulnerable groups and those living in deprived areas the hardest. Official figures for England show that the overall death rate between April and June this year in the poorest areas was nearly double that of the least deprived. The government says it is committed to reducing deprivation and has spent over £100 billion in welfare support this year and that they are ensuring that councils have the appropriate resources. Our special correspondent Ed Thomas has spent time in Burnley and reports now on some of those trying to cope there with unemployment and with mental health issues. You don't say. You don't say. So you see over there in the UK they don't say oh um yeah yeah you know coronavirus is affecting minorities okay they don't send this code word they just tell you straight up it's affecting them and you see the people okay all right I that's a pursuit of my hand i remember because i know i'm the poor and as long as i breathe i'll serve the poor you're in to force the plenty you see all these people okay. they have children hungry children okay. They're trying to sugarcoat this, brothers and sisters. You know, this is the templates of the apocalypse of Abraham number four, famine of the world, okay, Gentiles. Well, this happened because of uh, one. The Genesis 15, verse 13, and he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 years. We serve all 400 years. Jacob's trouble is gone, baby. Now, verse 14, we have entering Esau's trouble. And also, that nation this I serve will I judge and he's judging them through uh, the templates of the apocalypse of Abraham now because of uh, the pride goeth before destruction and a hardy spirit before a fall so those people are very proud they are very proud that's why they are going to this destruction so this is the templates of the apocalypse of Abraham is on full swing all right those people don't know what to do all right they were very proud and look look what's going on with them. This is famine. Don't sugarcoat this. Just because they're not little, little African, little uh, uh, Hamite looking uh, uh, kids with huge belly and big head, you know, so the, this is famine. And hungry. All right. Politicians say that it was a level of this coronavirus. It's a lie because if you're poor, you've got no chance. There's tuna pasta bacon all sorts in here. It's really hard to get food for myself because I've got much money on me and I can't go out anywhere. A couple of days food is mean everything to us. Well, I've no fighting. Every time you get any money, it disappears as fast as you've got it. With the coronavirus as well, with the reduction in wages, it's not easy to cope. So this means you can eat? Today. Yes, yeah, you can eat and it helps out wherever you're stuck. I think they've all got chocolate here, brother. And all this is laid on by Pastor Mick. The knee's massive, absolutely colossal. This is the church I represent. The level of need here in Burnley at the moment is, I think, unprecedented. We got some, some bread as well, yeah? For two men. Yeah, yeah, what's going on? The what? 
the bat what? The bat Oh, the back streets over there. Yeah, yeah, pick it for mommy. All right. Yeah, as you can see here, um, uh, the people, you know, they are. The, this is real, man. This is real, and then uh, uh, they are not hiding this over here. This thing happened. They always put our faces upon it. All right. Many. The legacy of coronavirus is not only sickness. The desperation. Yes, desperation. Visiting a family who had no carpet, had no settee, who had no gas, had no electric, they had no food. I broke my heart because um, nobody cared for them. Of course, of course not. This is a member of the priesthood of Mahan, of course not. Because what happened here, brothers and sisters, is just the curses is moving to those people and this is the first time they never been to in a situation like that they never been to this so they don't know what to do now this guy he's sincere now you know this, he's sincere his heart really broke i don't know a part of getting a little boy with him but you know his heart is really broken now because he see exactly what's going on with those people all right they fell through the crack <laughs> pot noodles that kind of stuff all right i go into houses and I sometimes have children ripping the bags open to get at the food as I'm carrying them to the door. Uh... This is the 10 plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham. Plague number one. Sorrow. Define sorrow. Here's the definition of sorrow. A feeling of deep distress caused by loss, disappointment, or other misfortune suffered by oneself or others. Sadness, unhappiness, dejection, regrets, depression, and misery. What you are seeing, brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike. Is this the face of Jacob? Is this the face of somebody that is ready to bring some type of trouble to Jacob? Is this the face of somebody that is ready to take over the world? Is this the face of somebody so happy like, finally I'm going to get those Hebrews. Finally, I'm going to mistreat the children of God. This is the face of sadness, sorrow. Okay? And it's not all right, though. Okay? I, I don't understand why they're making this interview. They have this dude leaning on this wall, like some kind of like movie thing going on, you know, and things. But well, probably could not stand straight, you know, and things like that. But, uh, oh boy, ah, oh, that old dog is tired. Anyway, so um, yeah, man, this is this is the face of sorrow. Those people are going to the pegs, and they they can't they can't they can't hold it. You see, they have this habit of doing this, going in Africa and then and say things like this, and oh, oh, we we, we so we feel so bad for the children or African or the hungry, and then they 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 laugh. They, <laughs> yeah, you know, we're gonna do our best. They laugh. Not, not this time, man. Not this time. That's not all right. No, it is. It is all right. And it wasn't as bad as that. No. Before the virus. All right. The biggest part of coronavirus has been the loneliness. Most days, Pastor Mick helps people like Viv. She's 55. I keep trying to force myself to eat. I'd stop eating for about a week. I just ended up collapsing on my bathroom floor. Living in isolation became too much. It's just like brought it all back. I lost my husband. I buried two of my babies. I give birth to them, all I wanted them to do was cry, and they didn't cry. Yeah. So she's talking about steel baby. She she had two steel baby. Horrible thing. No mother has to go through that. The coronavirus brought all this. Yeah, it's brought every moment back to me. You know, you know, I have a problem with those British people over there in their teeth. You know that, right? When you collapse, what went through your mind? just let me go let me you know my number must be up i thought my time were up okay she want to die so when it comes to depressing things like that i don't want my people to see this let's move it on all right let's see how those people are, are going at each other's throat all right <laughs> Can I 
Brothers and sisters, this is called martial law. This is called martial law upon the Gentiles. For those of you who don't know this, uh, uh, a while ago when we were starting the channel, those people are called the Armenian. They are the Kim Kardashian people, okay? So, um, they, were a war, they, they, they had a war going on over there. They lost that war badly, brothers and sisters. I'm, I'm talking about, i never seen anybody lose a war that, that's that bad. The war was like... I don't think they killed none of the guy they were fighting for. They they massacred those guys. Those guys lose badly. The war was very tactical. It was very well done. The guy went the war in less than in less than six weeks. The Azerbaijan, the Azerbaijan, they they beat the Armenians so bad. So now they are protesting. Uh, they want the war to restart. They want the 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 little piece of land back. So this is martial law upon them. Okay. Okay, they, they are forcing them into into cars, and sometimes you never seen those guys come back again. Okay, all right, this is martial law. All right, all right, martial law upon the Gentiles. Okay, all right then. Put the volume down a little. Okay, this is martial law. All right, so this was supposed to happen in the hood. We were supposed to be the one. Uh, uh going under this type of trouble see they're choking the hell off this dude he doesn't want to go but whether you want it or not get your ass in there okay those people are angry they are angry they are the armenian they are the kim kardashian people they are angry because they lost the war and they want that guy to resign whoever that dude was okay All right. I'm not quite sure what he's saying. I, they, I think they want that war to start back again. But they lost it badly, brothers and sisters. A lot of them die. Okay, now they are protesting. That's why. Do what we used to do in the 60s. You know, the 50s, the 70s, the 80s, 90s, till now. March. All right. Yeah. This old man is done. Okay, they are pushing people. You know, um, those guys, they, you know, they, they don't want them to come up. They are arresting. For some odd reason, I always have a problem with those police driving van. You're not on Amazon. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, 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 let's put the volume up. All right. Okay. Look at this. All right, martial law upon the Gentiles. Oh boy, oh boy, look at look at this, look at this. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, they arrest that guy. Yes, a car like this, okay. Those look like like police car, but um, a van, yeah, you know. Okay, so yes, that's it's really unfortunate, brothers, uh, to see things like that. But hey, this is the templates of the apocalypse of Abraham. Let's move in on to the last one and close. What time it is? How long? Oh, all right. See now, she's going. She's going to talk about uh. uh the uh, uh the weather okay this is the most size doing this climate crisis is making weather forecasts harder you don't see it things i i, I pique my interest as well australia fires record-breaking hmm. battle not yet over against the locust invasions in east africa and yemen that's the another plague. extreme weather story linked to climate change and none of the the california fires the west and U.S. fires there as well. The reason we're talking about this is because the 2020 State of Climate Services is a report that is out by the World Meteorological Organization talking about climate change, connecting it to how we can better prepare for extreme weather because of climate change. I There's no such thing as climate change, man. This is the most work. 
this is the Mosai's work, all right? This is our father judging the, the Gentiles, the heathens, with the ten plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham. Number 10, thunder voices and destroying earthquake. Okay? Thunder, voices, is, is multiple things. The weather, the weather is acting out. All right, brothers and sisters? Look, you have to tell those people they are going into their curses. The blessing is gone. We are next. The divine switch already happened in the spiritual realm. We're just waiting for it to give birth into the physical realm. And then it will. All right? You have to let those people know. Stop letting people telling you this is 2020 as this is some type of natural phenomenon. As this is some type of like abnormal phenomenon. Let those people know nope, this is Esau's trouble. This is the Gentile tribulation. Whatever you want it or not, you're going to go through this trouble. And let those people go into it. And all of you that keep taking credit from the Mosa and give it on those people, you all going to suffer from the same fate. All of you that for that one political party, or our people are the only people that do this. This Satan is not Lucifer. I love Satan, but I don't like Lucifer. Lucifer or, or the um, the Illuminati, but I love Satan. You know, he Satan is a, a, a conservative. I love him, but I despise Lucifer because he is a liberal. Oh, I love liberal and I despise Lucifer. Look, drop that silly thing and come back to the Mosai. The message is clear. The covenant has been restored. The cup has been switched. The cup of dregs that was in our hand, it took out of our hand, is in the hand of the Gentiles. Let them go to the troubled. Do not trouble them. Let them. Brothers and sisters, enjoy seeing in the spiritual hospital. Let the great Dr. Raphael do his work. Just relax, man. Do a little eat, a little dance, and then get down, man. You know, just chill. You know? Let the Mosai do his work. Don't stand in front of the Mosai's way. Let those people pray. Let them uh, pray to their God just like we used to do because their God is deaf and blind and dumb. Let them. Don't be praying for them, Jeremiah 7, 16. Don't intercede for them. Don't say anything for those people. Let them. <sighs> Brothers and sisters, it's about to get a hell of a lot more worse. We know for a fact this blood moon just came out. We, we, we'll see what will happen. We know there's a, a solar eclipse on the 14. <sighs> oh, and, uh, but I gotta go to sleep. And um, on the 21st, there will be a, um, a great conjunction. We'll see, brothers. We'll see if things are going to get back to normal. Because that's what everybody's banking on. That vaccine thing, don't worry about that, man. That thing is uh, not only that. The, you see, out of all out of all that happened, that's the only fake thing that I could 100% vouch for. The vaccine they have, it's all fake. It can't do anything to our people. It can't uh, uh, kill our people. Even if they put anything to harm us, it will activate our powers. If they try to give it to us by force or anything like that, which is not going to happen. Their vaccine is like 95, 100% accurate. It's all bull. Don't listen to those people. They're trying to make as much money as they can. They're trying to get things back to normal. What's going to happen when they initiate that vaccine? Things going to get a hell of a lot more worse. No matter what you try, it's going to get a hell of a lot more worst it won't get any better brothers and sisters jews and gentiles alike chosen grafted it will not it's only going to get worse and the divine switch is here it happened in the spiritual realm it's going to give birth here brothers and sisters let's let's see let's see we got we got 30 days we got a big old 30 days ahead of us we we'll see those people spent the, the past of the better nine months of praying and nothing happened brothers and sisters not not even a little relief did you know this thing didn't go down at all let's check uh um uh, uh, mm -hmm. oh boy oh man i'm so sleepy i had a i don't know why i'm so sleepy anyway Okay, worldwide, brothers and sisters, 63 million. The United States is 13, 268,000 die. 
India. Okay, let's check one. Go at the bottom. This is oops. Okay, this is how you know this thing is not affecting us at all. When you go to um, let me see uh, to the Holy Land right there in Haiti, it's nine thousand two hundred and thirty-two death. It's been in March since like that since March. 232 death the reason why it's 9,000 is because they sent all the dominican that had this disease back they shipped them back in the other side of the highland so it stays like that okay so now since march is 232 death now um um <clears throat> let me see and uh, jamaica 251 and then when you go to uh, um those people when you start in the, in the top 10 when you start in a, mil uh, a million million cases club germany okay mexico colombia argentina italia uh, spain united kingdoms france russia F brazil india united states so it's all it's millions of people brothers millions in one day they got 818 people die well we only have like for the whole year we got 232 how the hell this thing is affecting us more than them why they also worry about this why they why they're so alarmed why they are coming with vaccine why they are closing down their own freaking businesses if this thing was truly affecting our people they would have quarantined the hood they would have pulled like a, one of those uh, uh b51 and say listen if we don't do this um we must have to sacrifice those heroes over there to save the world oh we have to save the world oh the black people here we have to drop this bomb on them so this virus won't spread worldwide they are here give they give them a hand and they will have dropped that bomb and kill all of us they will have quarantined the hood don't get out of the hood oh boy <sighs> all right brothers and sisters i'm very tired i don't know why oh yes i woke up early today i call that very early didn't sleep either so yeah so um uh, usually they had like nine people in a one million club let me see how many we got now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we got twelve we got two poor that just drained we have uh, Germany and uh, Mexico just get in. So we got Poland is right down the corner and Peru is already here and Iran is there too. So we got Iran, Peru and Poland and it's not going to get better. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. This is Esau's trouble. There will be no Jacob's trouble. Peace be at peace. The Most High has restored the covenant. Praise him. Seek his face humble yourself you know waddle yourself in meekness shallow arm